If you have issues with mold toxicity, here are my top three recommendations as you are working on the healing process. So hi, I'm Megan. I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner and functional blood chemistry specialist and also run and own a holistic health practice that specializes in chronic health issues, including mold. Mold is a huge part of our practice. And over the years and all of the trainings that I've done, here are a few things that I highly, highly, highly recommend and will take you so much further in your healing journey um, than just using some standard uh, binder um, that someone told you to do. So number one is prep the body. Before you even get to a mold binder, prep your body for the process. Work on liver detox pathway support work, work on nutrition, and this is gonna look different for everyone. This is not just, hey, go on a low histamine diet. That is not right for everyone, or even a low oxalate diet. That is not right for everyone. Focus on whole foods, uh, fueling your body, work on nutrient density, add in stuff to help support nutrients, mitochondrial function, start with some lifestyle liver detox pathway support work, prep your body before you go into this and the actual mold detoxification process will go so much smoother. Number two, work and prioritize. Really, this should be prioritize nervous system regulation work. If you have mold toxicity, I can almost guarantee you've got cortisol issues, you've got stress issues, probably some mental health struggles, anxiety in particular, although certainly other things can come along with it as well because mold impacts your neurotransmitter pathways and neurotransmitter production so much. Regu learning how to regulate your nervous system, working on trauma work, learning how to feel safe in your body, learning to get out of that chronic state or fight or flight is gonna be a huge process. It's gonna be and just huge process during, but also, as you're recovering and healing from mold, especially towards the tail end, working on these steps as soon as you start this process goes such a long way. And just in the healing neurotransmitters and healing your brain and, and being able to drain your brain and even being able to handle the whole healing from mold process, which is can be so stressful on the body, especially if you're someone who's really, really sick. Working on this is huge. I have tons of other videos on how to do this. And then number three is you're gonna need to do gut work. If you've got mold issues, you definitely have gut issues. This could look like bacteria, yeast, fungus, and or parasites. I'd say in, in most of my cases, we're having at least two out of four of those, if not all four, just a heads up. So assuming, we're gonna assume you have gut issues because mold feeds all kinds of gut overgrowth issues, plus it causes chronic stress in the body. So once you actually get to the mold detoxification work, this is when you can start addressing the gut and or wait until you've at already started detoxing the mold. And here's the reason why. If you do it first, the mold is going to continue to feed the gut overgrowth and you're going to end up just repeating these cycles of medications, of supplements that you're on for your gut again and again and again. And it's going to be super expensive. It's also going to be really frustrating for you to have to keep doing this again and again. When we actually get to, in our practice, when we get to mold, we do parasites first because parasites are going to also contribute to bacteria, yeast, and fungal overgrowth. And when parasites die, they're going to release more mold into the body. So this is how we do it in our practice. I don't think this is the only way, but this is the way that we do it. And we have really great success um, in healing the gut and healing from mold. So take, if you are in this boat, please take these things into consideration. It will help you in your healing process. If you need additional support and healing from mold or where to start with you personally, uh, and where you're, you are, where your body is, be sure to book a free consult. There's a link in our bio.